Welcome to Genuine Coder guys. In this video, I will show you how to use the awesome, the awesome material design in our JavaFX programming language. And before doing so, I have to thank the team, the developer the team of the JavaFX material design plugin, uh, the JPhoenix team. And thank you very much, dear developers, for making this awesome plugin for JavaFX and let us see how the program looks like with material interface so this is a sample program and this is a material text field the exactly the same one we see in the android platform and this is a button with a ripple effect and this is a normal panel with a drop shadow the gaussian shadow so that's it let's see how we can develop with this one so first things first, let us see how to set up the material plugin for our what we say our IDE and we have to add the material design plugin for our uh, scene builder also so we can develop things faster. So the first thing we have to do is uh, download the jphoenix jar file, the library from the website, J this website I will be giving this on the description and this is their official website it looks pretty cool actually and uh, download this file and you will get a file called jphoenix.jar it's actually a 2.1 MB file which is pretty much small and the next thing is we have to add this a jar file into our scene builder so that we can just drag and drop it for our development and I have already done uh, the step and you can see that I got a list of custom material design UI elements in this uh, in order to do this you have to go to the settings icon and jar fxml manager and add library fxml from the file system and you just go to the downloaded directory and click on the jar file and just press off. I am not doing that because I have already done so and you can s you will see that effects on fire in the list view. So that's how you add the Java X uh, the material design into your scene builder and let's start from a new project. Let us start a new project for our effects on the program. This is Java FX, FX application login finish so I got three file like always login source packages login and one more thing we have to do is we have to import the jar file for this NetBeans project also I mean uh, we have imported that only for the scene builder so this can be done pretty much the same way click on the library add jar or folder and locate the file in my case it is on the desktop and jphoenix.jar so I got that jphoenix.jar <coughs> now let us look uh, let's see how we can design the thing I am just double clicking on the fxml file and I got the usual click me and label I don't want that anymore delete now uh, if you see th there is a panel this is no this is not an fx uh, uh, this is not a material panel this is a normal panel and first thing first let us add the panel pane it's not a panel it's pane and we have a pane now something like this and let's set the background color the the background color can be easily set using the css file uh, we don't have to add a css file we can set the style right from here and i am setting the background color as white okay we got white actually how many are there one two three four five six okay that's fine so we got a pane and next thing we have to add it's a beautiful text edit, uh, edit text, a JFX 
text area so in this case it is not text area we need this text field so let us add right here and we have to make some changes um, let us change the color the focus color uh, the focus color will be black or back from an origin business <laughs> now let us set the color and uh, I want to copy and paste the color because I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, so uh, the color this color looks pretty fine 09 b6 bc so oh it's ash 09 b6 bc so that's it we got the focus color and that's it then prompt text use a name and we can see that the prompt uh, the prompt text can be we can see the prompt text here and it's fine we don't have to do any alignment here so that's it we got the username then we need a password field so jfx password field here so we all know that what a password field means we can't we can only see the stars 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 okay that's it then username we have to give a prompt text so password and what was the color again uh, zero nine b six b c hash hash zero nine b six b o hash zero nine b six b c so that's it level found now we need a button two buttons so we have a jfx button actually uh, no nothing jfx button the jfx button will provide you a cool like this ripple effect by default and it's a flat button maybe raised ripple fill let's give the ripple fill are white because we will be setting the material color but we'll let's see the color and I set the color using CSS so there's a button no text FX background color and set it as this so that's that's okay then let us test give the text color here and button so that's it it looks fine right Our button it's login button and we need one more thing that is uh, sign up sign up sign up now let us just decrease the size of the panel like this and that's it that's how you design a material design UI with the elements provided in the Phoenix package and let's compile and see how it looks like uh, FXML controller we have we don't have a label we don't have a handle button fix the imports and run it We got it. The replay, all the effects, the login button, the sign up button. Now we have to get the components in our program. In our FXML controller, it's pretty simple. Uh, uh, one more thing we have to do is we have to give the shadow effect, and it can be given by clicking on the pane effect and drop shadow. And in the drop shadow, three plus box, this gives Gaussian shadow and fine and let us give some names the user name as the variable we have to give variable names and let it be user let this be password 
login and sign up sign up it's not seeing up it's actually sign up then when the user presses on the login button we have to make login so it's a function so when the user press on the login button the function make login will be called and let us have the uh, controller skeleton from view control skeleton show sample controller skeleton and copy this paste in our fxml controller import by control shift i and when the user press on the login button we have to take the username string user is equal to string username is equal to user dot get text string pass equal to pass dot get bytes now can we have get text it's actually password password dot get text if username dot equals genuine and and pass dot equals so my username and password is genuine coder the user name is genuine and the password is coder and this is when the user press that we have to give a welcome message so that's it else system dot out dot print the airline wrong pass running the program username genuine coder login wrong pass oh my god what went wrong and then pass dot equals coder maybe small letter coder welcome so that's it that's how you use the material design in your JavaFX program and thanks for watching guys subscribe the channel subscribe the channel for more cool videos thanks for watching